Hey guys, Bruno Bliss here from DOS Quest. So, I read that a lot of people on the internet are having problems running Disc World 1 on their machines using DOSBox. Issues like uh, having no sound or being unable to save the game. Well, I did have those issues in the past and I was able to solve them. So, in this video I'm going to perform a step-by-step -step installation of the game, which will hopefully help you guys overcome such problems. Yeah? Right, so let's go then. Open my computer and go to the C drive. And if you haven't already, create a new folder named Games. Insert the Discworld CD and take note of your CD-ROM drive letter. In my computer, E is the corresponding letter to my CD-ROM drive. Open DOSBox and type in these lines. Mount, space, C, space, C, column, backslash, games. Remember, if you are running this on Linux, capitalization matters. Mount, space, E, space, E, column, backslash, space, minus, T, space, CD-ROM. Now switch to the drive E by typing E, column, backslash. The installer file you need to execute should be named disk.bat. You can confirm this by typing DIR. Not really necessary. Right. Type disk.bat then. And here we are at the setup. C is the drive you want to install the game in, so press enter. Now choose Sound Blaster Pro and for the next three settings, enter, enter, enter. Choose AD Lib or Compatible. And that's it. The game runs with sound. Still, there's the unable to save the game problem. Let's solve that. Exit the game or close the DOSBox window. Navigate to the games folder in your C drive. Here's the Discworld folder. The goal is to create a folder inside this Discworld.cd with the same name. Well, it's quite simple, let me show you. Let's copy this name and Ctrl C. Open the Discworld.cd folder and create a new folder. So, we're gonna name it Discworld.cd. We can paste what we have in the clipboard by pressing Ctrl V. Now copy the drivers and save folder to the newly created Discworld.cd folder. There! This should make you able to save the progress. Let's check it out! So, we press F1 to display the menu, save, and I'll name this one DOS Quest. Let's get out of the room to see if we can load the game. And voila, it works! Take that, Rainswind. I am not a cartoon! I'm just dimensionally impaired. And thank you guys for watching DOS Quest Tutorial 002 Fixing Discworld for Windows 7 and Windows 8 Sound and Save Game Problems. I really hope this one did it for you guys. And if not, please leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll help in any way I can. Thank you guys, see you next time.